If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if this is not your first time here, thank you so, so much for coming back. So if you are a returning subscriber, you may have noticed that I have not posted any videos for the last two weeks. And that is because your girl took a little break because your friend got COVID. <laughs> so I just decided to take the last two weeks to rest, recuperate, and once I got better to see my family while they were in town for one more day. And so that's what I've been doing with my time, but I have also been filming and doing some projects around the house. So I'm really excited to share those things with you guys, starting with what I did with my Calyx unit. So you guys have love, love, love that video where I did the Ikea Calyx hack to turn the Calyx into a West Elm console dupe. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it up here somewhere for you to check out. But I finally decided what I wanted to do with it. I am going to go a little bit more moody in the living room so that white was not going to work with my design style but I found the perfect place for it and I'm really excited for you guys to see. So let's just jump right into what I did with that. All right, so I have an idea for this area of my kitchen. So the dining room table is actually going to be right in front of this area. So I'm thinking I wanna hang that large piece of wall art that I had just leaning against the wall for several months. Um, right here and then I'm actually going to move the credenza that I made for my living room into this section It's about the same width. I'm hoping it fits. I measured it. It seems like it'll fit Yeah, I love that look so the hooks are situated on this portrait to be hung horizontally and I want to hang it vertically. So I'm just going to be moving the hooks so that I can hang it vertically. So it looks like this has been done before because I see where there are holes where these could go. So that's perfect. I'm just going to put them back where they were. I was originally going to put them here in line with this bar but actually I do think this is a better place for them to go. So I'm going to just continue to remove the screws so that I can take out the hooks and replace them. Okay, so all that you need for this trick is some painter's tape and a pen, preferably not the same color as the painter's tape. All right, you are going to take and place your painter's tape over the hook. And then you are going to pull it all the way across. Want to make sure it's taut so that you know you're getting exactly where the hooks are. Perfect. And then you're just going to make an X where your hook is. So I've already placed a marker where I want the bottom of the painting to fall. So now I'm going to measure from the bottom of the painting to the hooks and that's where I'm going to place my tape so I know where to make my holes. This is where, this is where it would be super helpful to have two people, but I don't have that tonight. So we're just gonna work with what we got. I'll do the best I can with what I got. This part we can do easily. I'm just 
gonna take the painting, put it here. So we can make sure we have the same distance on either side. most important is making sure that this top tape is straight. <laughs> you measure it 50 times if you have to. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way multiple times on multiple projects. So I will not be hanging in a stud, uh, so I'll be using anchors to support this painting. This is gonna be the interesting part. Um, yeah, I don't know. We gonna see about that upper body strength. And I did arms today, so we'll see. <laughs> Ignore this. 